Okay, I'm going to do a quick video here of my 1992 Dodge uh, D250. <clears throat> this is a Power Ram Cummins Turbo first generation 12 valve. Um, just kind of give you a closer and better look. Uh, I can only post so many pictures on eBay and I wanted to, you know, kind of highlight a few things that you won't see in the pictures even though I've tried to take as many pictures as I possibly could. Um, but the hood on the truck, the paint issues that Chrysler had in the early 90s were kind of notorious for this clear coat fade. This truck was uh, a victim of that. As you can see, the top of the hood is faded. Uh, it's as well on the top of the cab, too. Um, you know, it's just kind of uh, faded out a little bit. The previous owner had, uh, from this body stripe, this is actually a new stripe, they had went from here down on both sides and repainted the white. <coughs> um, and they did, a, they did a good job. They didn't do a fantastic job. But, uh, you know, it, it, the truck still looks really good. It's presentable. Uh, there's a bad place here where they didn't get a good uh, adhesion to the primer. The truck's got a dent right here, a couple screws holding that piece of trim on. There's some runs beneath this emblem. If you can kind of see, there's been a touch-up right here. Looks like uh, some runs here. Got a few dings. Ding, ding, ding. Another one there. Um, you know, the truck was a farm truck. It was used out in the field. Uh, it was it was driven. It was uh, it was used to haul fuel to combines and things of that nature. It's got some rust issues on this lower door here. Rocker panels are in great shape. <clears throat> the rear cab mounts are in great shape and cab supports as well. Uh, floors are real structurally solid, uh, no rot, no cancer that I can tell. Even on the inner rocker panels on both sides are real solid. Uh, front cab mounts have got a little bit of an issue up there on both sides. The frame has no issues at all, it's all rock solid. Bottom side of the bed's real solid. The inside of the bed, the bed floor, uh, it's got a hideaway ball in it for a gooseneck. Again, back here, um, the tailgate, uh, the white on it had been repainted. Um, I don't really think there's any runs or any real dings or dents on this side that I can tell. It's kind of hard to see where I parked it at here, but... The truck sounds really good. These are the original floor mats. It's also got brake assist. I don't know that I mentioned that. Everything works. The original stereo works. All the gauges work. The truck gets great fuel mileage. Headliner's in great shape. Windows roll up and down fine. Uh, this power window is a little slow. Uh, just a great truck. You know, it really is. It's just a nice driving truck. It handles uh, the road great. The four-wheel drive shifts wonderful. It's got the stock uh, the stock lockouts on it. It doesn't have, like, worn lockouts. These are the original lockouts on the front hubs. But anyway, there's a little closer look at the Dodge. If you have any other questions, feel free to call me anytime. Thank you much.